In this video, I'm sharing my favorite design app that I use for graphic, web, UI, and prototyping design. And the best part is it's free. What's up guys, this is Max Square, and if you're new here, I make videos all about tech tools for entrepreneurs. So this app is called Figma, and like I said, it's completely free. So if you're looking for an alternative to Photoshop or Adobe XD, maybe you just don't wanna pay for any app, this is a great place to start. In most cases, I tend to use Figma over other apps that I actually pay for, like Photoshop or Sketch. So there's a ton of features in this app, but I'm just gonna try and highlight a couple of key tools that make Figma so powerful. So let's start with the interface and what it's like to really use the app. If you're coming from an app like Sketch or Adobe XD, then you'll find Figma very easy to get right into because it has a lot of the same features. Now I'm actually using the web app version here, but they do have an app for Mac and Windows. And we just double click to open that up. So we have our toolbar here at the top where you can set preferences and just customize some of these settings. We've got a pointer, a artboard tool, and then a couple of shapes. And then we have a comment tool, which I'll get into later. So this is actually a free wireframing template that Figma actually gives away for free on their website. And I'm gonna get into templates as well in just a minute. On the left we have pages, you can have as many as you want. And then there's also an assets tab where if you have certain reusable elements like buttons or cards, you can see you can just save those here and then drag them in whenever you need them. So just like Illustrator or XD or probably most design apps that you're used to, you can create different artboards. So if we come up to the artboard tool, we actually have some templates here on the right where we can choose what device we're designing on. If it's just a generic display like desktop, you can also choose that. Let's say we're designing for an iPad. If I just click that, you'll see a new artboard pops up and then we can start working on our design. Now looking at more of a finished design, you'll see that we have some highlighted purple elements on the left. These are what Figma calls components. So if you have this element duplicated in different parts of your design, and then you change something in the master component, it'll update on all of them automatically. One of my favorite features about Figma is actually the auto layout capability. So for example, if we have a button here, instead of just putting the text inside a rectangle, what we could do is take that text out and delete the button and then come to the text layer, right click and select add auto layout. Now obviously nothing happened, but if we come over here to the fill with that frame selected, then we can actually create a button shape behind it. But the difference now is if I were to change this text to my awesome button, you'll see the rectangle actually resizes to fit with whatever parameters you've given the frame. So we can come over to the frame here and we can add some left and right spacing. We can add some vertical spacing. Now let's say we have two of these buttons and I'll just drag this over here. And then we group both of those buttons in an auto layout. We can actually determine the space between those buttons inside. So you can nest as many of these elements as you want. Number two, we have templates. Now, one of my favorite wireframing kits does this really well. This is actually a product from SAS Design and I'll put links down below so you can check them out. So what they've done is actually created a bunch of different layouts and different templates for certain devices. So this is the desktop view. If we come to tablet, you'll see they've actually redesigned some of those elements to show what it would look like if it was responsive. And then if you go to components, you can see all of the colors, the fonts and icons that they use. But let's say we're working on this header template here and you'll notice everything is vertically centered. So everything is in the middle of the rectangle. And you'll see that as soon as I start to add a title, it actually resizes to stay vertically centered. And if I were to just completely delete that text, you'll see the title and buttons shift to stay centered. Again, this is a paid template, but you could easily make this on your own and it will save you a ton of time moving forward. Again, I'll put a bunch of different links down below where you can check out free and paid templates for Figma to just to get you started. And lastly, I just wanna talk about collaboration. This is a really great tool to work in real time with people because again, you can open up the web app version no matter what platform you're on. And it works a lot like Google Docs where a little avatar will pop up at the top right and you can leave certain comments for each other and see what screen that person is looking on at the same time. We also have that feedback tool which allows you to leave comments across the design. So this is just a receipt template that I'm using as an example to show you that you can also use it for graphic design. It doesn't just have to be user interface or web design. 
So we have a couple different comments here and you can obviously see them highlighted. But if we come over to the right, we can actually click on any one of those, which gets very helpful when you have 20, 30, 100 comments and you have no idea where to begin. What's also cool is you can leave comments and reply, so you can kind of have a little dialogue about a certain feature if you need to. Another cool thing is you can actually link to certain comments. So if you just have one specific feature that you need to share with a certain designer or developer, you could actually open that up and send them that link. And then when you click on that link, it'll highlight that comment as soon as they open up the tab. So those are just a few of my favorite features about Figma. I plan on making a lot more content about the app to share different plugins and templates that I love to use with you guys. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to click like and subscribe for more content. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.